Hartley welcome to my channel. My name is Sandeep Basik. I am 40 years old 3D generalist. My channel has lots of Blender video tutorial that's more than 1000 plus which make you real professional artist. In other hand this channel has GIMP and Inkscape tutorials which are more than 500 plus. I am working in small CG studio, so I make a video what I learned of my experience. To support me for continuing my work kindly subscribe my channel and share my video to your friends and community if my video worth. Thank you and you get ahead to my tutorial video. Hello everybody. Welcome back to my another tutorial. So in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a, a banner in Inkscape in vector graphics software so you can use the Corel Draw or Illustrator. So in this video I'm going to use the Inkscape the open source vector graphics software. I'm using the latest version 1.3.2 the latest version software and my operating system is the Linux LXT Ubuntu so you can see here. So how you can uh, make a very good quality a uh, very good quality banner so I have made this banner for my client and previous uh, video just go to my channel and check it out how to make uh, so I have already made a leaflet this one and a leaflet and this one backs front I and I have already uh, downloaded this image from internet freely and this is the this is the uh, one type of uh, academy i have already made a uh, visiting card visiting card uh, this one visiting card this one this is a logo this is a uh, dazzling academy logo and this one uh, backside leaflet and this is the qr code quick response to how to make this one so to make this one client uh, gave me only rupees 2.5 dollar only rupees 2.5 dollar so, so this poster only rupees 2.5 dollar in USD U USD so how you can uh, get this lucrative uh, lucrative banner so how to make so don't so in this case I have I got I I can got the two point only two point five dollar ten dollar is okay but two point five dollar very cheap rate in this price so I don't use the Canva so I don't make I don't want to think deeply so how you can uh, how you can gather this how you can make this look lucrative uh, design so at first I am using this template so it, it is not a copyright because this template the, this template is premium images from prepig we can't we can't uh, use this uh, the, I, I use this template and this template and color also and this so you know the banner is street banner it it, it it is a holding banner it is not uh, published on the internet so there is no issue uh, uh, about the copyright so after printing it um, so everybody can this banner from streetly because this banner is holding banner uh, flex 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 print there is no issue so it it is a not copyright issue you can see here that I use the this color and this color so I can't I because I have no login without login I can use this one so how you can this one so first go to the free pick and uh, select the select the search um, uh, school admission school admission you can search school 
ADMIWS and banner so you can see here lots of banner will appear here so uh, for premium so right click on here copy image just copy image and go to the vector graphics sculptor and click on here and control B to paste it here so how you gather the how you can gather this uh, the color so I don't want to show you how to make everything because this I don't want to show you how to make this one uh, this uh, control shift Z so ungroup everything so this one I can this one so control shift Z or you can see here ungroup uh, so group so or ungroup control shift control z to group control shift z to ungroup so how you can you can see here i already group it here so how you can gather this busy color so first select the rectangular tools and this size is the f uh, four into six into four feet i have already this one or you can see here 300 and 200 it is the ratio of uh, 6 by 4 uh, 6 by 4 uh, 3 into 2 ratio so how you can just click on in here and click on the right pan right pan and go to the go to the uh, color and select linear gradient so when you choose the linear gradient select uh, this one gradient tool so in a uh, gradient tool selected after selected gradient tool click on in here in here and you can see here the color picker you can see here that there are two gradient picker appear here so click in on, on eyedropper and click Turn here so you can see here to change the color and after uh, now select this one you can see here this one already selected click on eyedropper and select almost this one so now click on tools you can see here this already I have uh, met this one so how you can uh, how you can gain this particular line so first one click the pen tool click on and click on and here and guesswork I guess where it it may be probably the point is here so click on and here click on and here and click on and here so this one um, go to the go to the stroke and click in uh, go to the fill and delete the fill go to the stroke and fill the stroke so I can see how how the how you change the so I can see the borderline to change the shape so now I can go this one node tool so and select all vertices and click in on here to make all the line into smooth line so you can see here smooth line on all smooth so click in on here just change this one click in on here and select this handle and choose here select this handle select this handle and yes now select this one fill click on the fill click on a flat color and now you can change 
this color and go to the stroke color and cross the stroke color so this one and uh, duplicate duplicate and change the color how you can change the color control drag and change the color on here and just ship it down and do click in on here select this one so now already already make this one this is the main thing so how you can make this one this one very easy so now I am uh, using this one the same technique click in on here here so click on here okay this one and select So I can use this one. Uh, so to right click and duplicate, Control G. So in on here. This one to duplicate. How to make this one? So okay. I have, I have already made so this one how to make this one first select the but in my image I don't uh, I don't um, add this dot dot line and this this one by I but I want to show you how to make this one so first one press the control button and then here to down click on here to change the color first to go to so you can see here the path effect so you can see here the path effect click on the path effect and choose the tiling option you can see here the tiling option so you can make more so okay 10 or you can go so now click on here and change the alpha options so this is the way to how you can the same thing you can see here the same thing they had made this uh, this is the way so you can play this tool and play this tool so now I want to show you how to make this one so this is the same same thing first click on the rectangle tool Again in here, and I want to change the color in dark so you can easily understand. Okay, so now I want to go to the pet effect if you don't find uh, so if you are using the old version so you can go to the path effect and uh, click on any hair path effect so you can easily it already appear in the right pen slow click on the hair and use the tiling option so use the one tiling one and use the 15 quantity uh row, not row it is a clump cap so you can use the 20 size the 20 okay 
so now right click on it here path and object to path option now click on the cir circular button press hold control and click on it in here press shift select this one press the this align button so you can see here where is the align button uh, align and distribute button here so and select the last selected and middle and middle so don't release selection so go to the path um, intersection use the intersection button so you can see here how you can change the scene you can see here now you can use the color and resize it and this one this color okay so color it and change the lower version so it already use here and duplicate this one control D or so duplicate control D button so how they use in here so this one and select this one so how they use this one or oh, this is the same so control save to save this one so you can see here okay so now uh, you can see here how I can use this one so I need to make it more alpha so alpha so okay and click in and here and duplicate control D to duplicate this one and press this one to make this one so uh, and this one I have um, this is uh, because I have already experience in more than 10 years to make the to using the Inkscape from uh, since 2010 and uh, I think 13 years more than 13 years around 13 years so I know how to make this one so you can see here how you can easily uh, make the banner uh, this one very lucrative type from the free pick, free pick without without um, uh, pay any pay any uh, directly just without pay so without pay I select this one and control shift so how you can render select everything and press so object make it group so make it group and you can see here file export or you can see here this one export you can see here open export so you can already know and change the dpi and just export selected only and press on export button when you press the export button it already um, i have already choose the location just choose the location same in here just choose the location you can see here just choose the location so this is the very very quick technique how to how you make the banner very lucrative so i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching see you again in the next video with a new tutorial bye bye